Life is good. We enjoy it. Every minute, every moment, we just enjoy it. Is it everything you thought it would be coming back? You know, I've been here before. The, the weather didn't change, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's perfect, all good. Are you enjoying life off, off the pitch? Always en enjoying life. I'm a lucky man. I play, I play football, I do what I love. I listen to music, you know, as you can see, I'm a, I love to dance, I love to do, like, I just enjoy myself. <laughs> And on the pitch, since the start of the season, do you feel more comfortable integrating into this, this new team with a new manager? The adaptation maybe it took a bit, then after with the team as well, you know, because when you change all the, uh, players as well, you need some time. So now the team is going better and better. I think we, we all feel much better than uh, the start of the season. What about Jose Mourinho? What's he like to play for? The first two months, you know, it's adaptation as well for him, for a new culture, a new, a new club. And now we we going better and better. We know more of him. We know how how he plays and everything. So we understand him more. We feel very good. And for you personally, he's given you an awful lot of support, hasn't he? He told me like, don't worry about anything. If you need something, I'm here. Don't listen to nobody. Just be focused on the pitch. And just enjoy yourself. He let me free. That's all I need to hear from uh, from my manager. <laughs> You've had two or three different roles in the team. Is the one you prefer, the one you feel that's more suited to you? With two midfielders or with one midfielder next to me, uh, for me it's the, it's the same. I will just give my best, but maybe I will feel more comfortable if, if you play in three because there is someone. I, I'm, I will go more forward, I'm more attacking player. Both ways I'm, I'm very happy with that and there's no, there's no problem. I remember talking to you when you were first here. You, you didn't seem a character that felt any pressure. You didn't look as though you've... You've changed. Why would I? I'm a happy man. I'm playing for Man United. Great opportunity for me. We, we want to win titles, we want to win things, we have big goals, so I'm just happy. I'm a happy man. And what is it about this club, Paul? What about the, the draw of Manchester United all around the world? The culture, you can see like, um, every game, you see Bobby Charlton's coming. Every game at the end of the game, he's coming to see us. Like, it's a big family, so this culture is, is there, it's there all together. So when you wear this shirt, you, you have to be proud of it and give your best. Zlatan, what are you saying today? Tell me uh, something. Else. Happy New Year to all of you. We begin 2017 cold. What's your relationship like with Zlatan? Uh, Zlatan is, <laughs> like when I speak about him, I always laugh because he's, the, he's one of the funniest guys I've played with. He's a joker, he always makes jokes. and. Uh, Outside the pitch, but in the pitch, you know, he's a winner. He has a um, big experience, big character, and he push you, you know, to, to your best. Always encourage you, give you advice. Almost like a father figure in a way to, to some of the younger yeah, players. Yeah, because uh, you won't like it, but he's, uh, he's the oldest. <laughs> 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 he might see this. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like the, the big brother of everyone. He's like, he's the, he's the oldest, he's the one with maybe the, the most experience. That's why he can, he can give us advice and we can listen to him. So he's almost as important off the pitch in the dressing room than he is on it, really, in, in, in yeah, the group. That's why we need, like, Carrick, even, uh, even uh, Waza. The, the players like you listen to because they have big experience. They've been here to the club like for a long time and they know they know the, the Premier League. And on the pitch with Latan, you seem to have a, a terrific relationship. I think you've set four of his goals up this season as well. You can remind him of that later. Yeah, he should have scored more. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, I feel uh, I find him. I find him a lot and uh, I feel very comfortable because he's someone, he's a complete uh, striker. <laughs> Nine wins in a row. Can you feel that real momentum with the team at the moment? We want to win the league. That's all I think. It's good to win, but to win the league, you have to win. So you have to ke keep doing this. We can have like 20, but if you don't, if you don't win the league, there's no point. When I say Manchester United, Liverpool, at Old Trafford to you, does that send a shiver down your spine? The history: Liverpool, Manchester United, big derby, more than uh, more than Man City, I think, because the way. The way you feel the atmosphere is more. It's good to win three points against Stoke City or uh, any team in the league, but it's even better you have, to f you have more taste when you, s you win three points against Liverpool because it's the derby, you know? When I say hi to people, I say, yeah. today. Today, so I did. Okay. I'll get that for.
And where are you on the list in the dressing room then in terms of putting the music the on? The DJ, it? the DJ, the first DJ, I would always say big respect for Youngie. You're not far behind, you're working your no, way up. Yeah, he knows, he knows. He hasn't got the best dance moves though compared no, to No, the, the the best dancer, I, I don't want to say it, so you have to ask the, the other ones, they will they will say it. But they'll say Paul Pogba. <sighs> Probably. <laughs> what? Two. That's it. And then that's how I say hi. How you doing? Peace. Yeah. Hi, what's up? Top man. Good okay. luck Sunday. Thank you.